So I've been a fan of York Modular's X0106 um, drone oscillator for a long time. It's basically four square wave oscillators. Uh, some filtration. Traditionally, it had a current starve circuit. Um, and the last version that I think was released stably was 4.5. And I've been lucky enough to get this prototype here of version 5, um, which as far as I know, you should be able to get a kit for it very soon. It's a really, really uh, sort of blown out expansion of the old module, which you can see here is a lot smaller. And essentially it gives you a whole bunch of voltage control over everything. I don't know exactly how all of this works. It's unlabeled at this point. And so I'm kind of going off of this... Um, panel design uh, that I was given. But essentially what's going on is you have uh, four square wave oscillators here. These set the frequencies. These ones under here set the pulse width. And down here you have a row of CV in and a row of pulse width in. Uh, and these are the four outputs. So you can use these all individually and all that just fine. And then here, which I'm not going to demo today because I'm still kind of getting used to it, is uh, these dual cutoffs for the built-in filter. Now the cool part, um, oh yeah, down here, sorry, is the uh, filter in and out. So you do need to like patch into it. Um, but that's kind of cool because you can use it with external stuff. Um, anyway, the interesting part is over here, which is essentially these in previous versions and in this one use uh, CMOS to kind of smash themselves together and give you these crazy outputs. And what you have here is um, logic inputs and then combined logic outputs. What logic operation it is, I'm not 100% certain. On the schematic, it's got like one, two, three, four, et cetera. And then this is one plus two, three plus four, uh, five plus six, and seven plus eight. And so far I've only had this on for maybe like 10 minutes just kind of playing around with it and have gotten all kinds of crazy stuff out of it. So, um, yeah, I don't know a whole lot else about it. This prototype version's a little bit funky. Some of the knobs are actually in reverse, which I love. Um, but I feel very privileged to have this. And so I thought I would just commit some sounds uh, to videos to hopefully show everyone how badass this thing is and convince them to go out and get it uh, before it's not offered anymore. Uh, so with that, I'm going to commence playing with it. The first thing that's going to happen is I've got a sequence from pressure points going into the first oscillator. And from there, I'm just going to kind of let you use your imagination as to what the hell I'm doing with it. So let's go ahead and get this into oscillator one output and get some level. So it makes a fairly nice, like, kind of monster standard square wave. Um, but then sort of the way that I'm going to progress from here is by patching in some of this logic. So I'm going to take um, oscillators one and two and put them into this section. And then I'm going to grab the combination of those, put it into this section and then grab the third oscillator and put it into this section. And then we're going to monitor sort of the outcome of this mess here.
So a lot of great opportunities for droning, which is what I'm most interested in. Um, a lot of sweet spots that are, uh, you know, even just after a short period of time, like really surprising to run into a lot of really nice tones. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and complicate this a little bit more and see what happens. So let's get the fourth oscillator in on the action.
All right, so uh, a lot of what was happening there was just some envelopes coming in and out of the pulse width and some sequences and some other things of that sort. Um, I wasn't going to demo the filter, but I do really like uh, sort of the tonal qualities of it. So I'm just going to patch something up real quick. Something with a little bit of something going on. Interesting little musical drone thing happening. So let me start with filters both all the way up. All right, so I think that's about all I can cover, and I see everything went blurry, so I apologize for that. This is what happens when you work on a cell phone, I guess. Um, the biggest notable difference, aside from what I described, is that I think I mentioned earlier, like, this new version does not have a voltage-starving circuit. Uh, I don't mind that it's gone, personally. There's so much to do here that... Um, you know, at this point, like, I would just need to spend, like, a couple of months with this thing before I'd even want to, um, ask for something else to be expanded, which I think I hounded York Modular long enough, um, that this happened, so, uh, you're welcome, maybe. Uh, I think it's just in my own mind that I'm taking credit for it, but, uh, yeah, this thing's amazing. I'm really glad to have it. It's, uh, producing some of the craziest noises in my entire rack. And um, it's almost like a whole instrument in and of itself if you're into drone. And yeah, I, I highly recommend anything from York. Um, I love, if you haven't heard of them, a lot of what's being made is like uh, very nice quality, like cheap um, modules, I guess. Um, like I just bought a trio of uh, multi-resonant bandpass filters that I really enjoy. Um, but every once in a while... Uh, something crazy comes out. The other thing, let's see if I can detach my phone from this for a second. The other thing that I'm going to demo soon is this DWS, which you can also get in kit form. Um, I forgot the proper name of it, but I believe it was referred to as the Diogeular Wave Strangler. And indeed it is. It's one of the most dynamic wave folders I have ever used. Uh, you can get so many different uh, timbres out of it. It's ridiculous. So I'm looking forward to sputtering around with this. Until then.